Hello, my name is Vaibhav Bhardwaj and today we'll discuss how to implement fine grained access control in DynamoDB using IAM policy conditions. I am a senior DynamoDB specialist solutions architect at Amazon Web Services and in this role I get the opportunity to work with customers having various types of workloads on DynamoDB. Many of my customers often ask me how they can implement fine-grained access control in DynamoDB. At AWS, we embrace the culture that security is job zero, by which we mean it's even more important than any number one priority. Let's see what options we have to implement fine-grained access control in DynamoDB. DynamoDB supports identity-based policies, often called IAM policies, for access control. Unlike other services like S3, DynamoDB does not support role-based policies. As a refresher, an IAM policy has below components. First one is Amazon resource name or ARN to identify the resource that the policy applies to. Second is an action to identify operations that you want to allow or deny. Third component is the effect which can either allow or deny the specific action. And the last one is principle that identifies the user or role this policy is attached to. With this background in mind, let's see a sample IAM policy. When this policy is applied to a user or a role, it allows all DynamoDB actions on the table with the specified ARN name. You can create a policy like this in seconds and allow your users to access DynamoDB. But please understand, an overly permissive policy like this is a security threat as it allows too many actions than a normal user or a role might need. Can you guess what does the action DynamoDB star means here? Or what all actions are allowed with this policy? This policy allows 60 plus actions on a given DynamoDB table. This includes action like delete item, delete backup, delete table replica, or even delete table. Would you want to have a policy like this in your production application where all you needed was access to run read queries on your DynamoDB table? Definitely not. Can we make it better? Absolutely, yes. Let's have a look at this optimized sample policy. This policy grants read-only permission on items in a DynamoDB table. This is achieved by explicitly including the actions like DynamoDB get item, DynamoDB batch get item, DynamoDB query, etc. in the action list of the policy. When this policy is applied to any user or role, they will not be able to do any other DynamoDB action like write item, delete item, or delete table, etc as this policy only allows the five mentioned actions on this table. Now we are definitely in a much secure state than the previous policy. Can we optimize it further? Following the concept of least privilege, fine-grained access control can be implemented for DynamoDB. This means you can have both item level and attribute level access control using IAM policies. Item level access control lets you grant permissions on a table but restrict access to specific items in the table based on certain primary key values. An example might be a social networking app for games where all user saved game data is stored in a single table, but a user can access only the data items that they own. Attribute level access control lets you make only a subset of attributes visible to the user. An example might be an app that displays flight data based on the user's location. Attributes like airline name, arrival time, departure time, and flight numbers are all displayed to all passenger. However, attributes such as pilot names or the number of passengers are hidden from passengers and are shown only to the airline staff users. The good thing is you can exercise item level and attribute level controls in the same policy. Let's see some examples of fine-grained access control using IAM policies. As an example, consider a mobile gaming app that lets players play a variety of different games. 
The app uses a DynamoDB table named GameScore to keep track of high scores and other users' data. Each item in the table is uniquely identified by a user ID, which is its partition key. Let's assume there is a requirement to allow users access only their own game data. You use the IAM condition element to implement a fine-grained access control policy for such requirement. Pay attention to DynamoDB leading keys. This condition key allows user to access only the items where the partition key value matches their user ID. The ID $www.amazon.com user ID is a substitution variable in Web Identity Federation. When a user logs in using a Web Identity Federation like Amazon, he will be assigned an IAM role that will have this security policy attached to it. This way, we ensure a user has access to its own record only and can't access any other user's record. This permission policy allows access to only two specific attributes, user ID and top score in a table by adding the DynamoDB attributes condition key. You might have noticed string equals if exists clause as well. The string equals if exists clause in the permissions policy ensures if the user specifies the select parameter, then its value must be specific attributes. This requirement prevents the API action from returning any attributes that are not allowed. If the user specifies the return value parameter, then its value must be none, updated old or updated new. This is required because the update item action also performs implicit read operation to check whether an item exists before replacing it and so that previous attribute values can be returned if requested. Restricting return values in this way ensures that users can only read or write the allowed attributes. Earlier example allowed access to only two specific attributes. If you are wondering if it is possible to explicitly deny access to specific attributes, then the answer is yes. This permission policy limits user access to updating only the specific attributes identified by DynamoDB attributes condition key. The string not like condition prevents an application from updating the attributes specified using the DynamoDB attributes condition. We can extend this functionality even on GSI attributes. This permission policy allows a query to only read five attributes, top score, date time, game title, wins, losses, and attempts on a secondary index. This is achieved by using the DynamoDB attributes condition key. The policy also limits queries to requesting only specific attributes that have been projected in the index. To require the application to specify a list of attributes in the query, the policy also specifies DynamoDB select condition key to require that the select parameter of the DynamoDB query action is specific attributes. This is a comprehensive example of a policy that shows how condition elements can be used to define the fine-grained access at item level and attribute level for both the table and GSI. This permissions policy allows specific DynamoDB action that are specified in the action element of a table and the table index in the resource element. The policy uses the DynamoDB leading keys condition to restrict permissions to only the items whose partition key value matches the user's Facebook ID. The user can only access attribute A and attribute B. To learn more about identity and access management for Amazon DynamoDB, you can refer to our documentation. It explains in detail how you can authenticate with various identities like Web Identity Federation using Google, Amazon and Facebook, implement fine-grained access control policies using IAM conditions. Please scan the QR code on your screen to access the same. To learn more about DynamoDB security, please watch my video on YouTube for security pillar of well-architected lens for DynamoDB. In this video, I have discussed what options are available to help you store your data securely in DynamoDB while maintaining confidentiality and integrity. To 
टू समराइज डायनो डीबी सपोर्ट फाइन ग्रेन एक्सेस कंट्रोल यूजिंग आई एम पॉलिसी कंडीशन यू शुड ऑलवेज लुक एट योर बिजनेस रिक्वायरमेंट एंड अलाउ ओनली रिक्वायर्ड एक्शन एट टेबल लेवल यू शुड ऑल्सो इम्प्लीमेंट आइटम लेवल एक्सेस टू मेक श्योर अ यूजर कैन एक्सेस इट्स ओन डेटा टू मेक इट मोर सिक्योर यू कैन इम्प्लीमेंट एट्रीब्यूट लेवल एक्सेस और डिनाइलिस्ट also don't forget you can also make your gsi secure using the same iim policy i hope you found this session useful and will implement these learnings in your applications do check out the other videos in this playlist to learn more about dynamodb thank you